Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flipped Teacher Professional Learning video, I'm going to go through and uh, explain to you what each of the apps available in Microsoft Office 365 are for. There are some different apps here, so there's some things that you may not be familiar with. Uh, so let's have a look at what we've got available to us. We've got obviously our, our staples. We've got Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Excel. I'm not going to spend too much time on those because we should all be familiar with those. There are some other options here that you may not be as familiar with. Starting from the left, we have OneNote. OneNote is a tool that allows you to uh, collaborate, to brainstorm ideas. It's effectively an infinite whiteboard. You can expand it in and out. It allows you to insert content from your hard drive. It allows you to insert content from the internet as well. It's an excellent collaboration tool and very, very useful. Class Notebook is a learning management system. It's a little bit fiddly to set up at the start, but in the long run, it's quite powerful and actually fairly simple to use uh, once you get past that initial setup phase. There are some really great features on there and we'll explore that in some depth later on. Microsoft Sway is similar to PowerPoint, but in PowerPoint where you have complete control and you make all the choices about the content, the appearance, the animations, the transitions, etc. In Sway, as you start to add your own content, Sway will suggest additional content from the net. Uh, Sway is designed, it was built as a cloud-based presentation platform and it will suggest things for you from the internet it will suggest articles images videos depending on what content you are putting in it will also suggest some layouts for you some stylistic choices that you can uh, word we should be familiar with powerpoint we should know excel we should know onedrive is microsoft's cloud-based storage system similar to google drive uh, onedrive has some pretty much very, very similar features. You can upload, you can share, um, you can organize into folders. There are a whole range of stuff you can do in there, but use the cloud-based storage system. Forms is a set of forms. You can create forms for pretty much whatever purpose you need to do. Um, that's a really powerful tool to use in the classroom as a uh, formative assessment, as a summary of assessment for some fun activities uh, and for some community and parent uh, you know, school parent relationship building stuff there as well. Really useful uh, app to have. Planner is effectively a diary or a calendar. It allows you to you know, keep track of what's going on, put th put events in there so you know when you've got things on and what, what they're about. Delve is an interesting one. Delve is a app that allows you to see what other people in your organization are doing. As people in your organization add themselves um, to your network, you can see what they're working on, not in terms of step by step what is going on on their screen but you can see what application or what doc they're working on it's a great way of being able to find documents that you've worked on fairly quickly i haven't explored it too much but we will have a look at that in a later video yammer is a social media app effectively power apps is effectively a design app flow is all about your workflow and dynamics 365 i haven't actually looked at because it's not part of the suite uh, of apps that i have access to that is a very, very brief video, giving you a minute idea of what uh, each of the apps you have available in the Office 365 suite is. Uh, we will go through more of them in depth in future videos, but for now, thanks very much for watching and head over to c21teaching.com.au for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you.